Hello, Lego fans. My name is Andy, and let's talk about Lego. Check out this pipe organ. Isn't that the coolest? <laughs> I love it. Yes, I am in building the haunted house. It is under construction, well on its way, about half done right now. I love it so far. Like I said, that pipe organ is awesome. And then these these doors up here in the front, uh, you can open them like that. That is the coolest. <laughs> I love it. So yeah, getting the uh, haunted house underway here. It is uh, it is part of. I didn't even realize it's part of the fairground collection because it's technically a ride. It's got the drop ride built into it. So. It will be added to my little mini amusement park there on the platform. I'll give you a full tour of it once it's done. Moving on here to our platform. Mr. Cowboy Guy, here with the treehouse, got his cowboy hat back. <laughs> yes, I finally found it. So there you go. He's complete with his hat now. Take a look at this section over here again. Well, it looks a lot different than it did last video, right? <laughs> I cleared out everything that I had built, and I put in a mills plate here, which was uh, 32 by 48. And I put in a mills plate over there, which was 24 by 48. I could have made it 32 by 48, and it would have hung over just like the other one, but... Figured if I'm making it a custom size, I might as well make it uh, the right size for the table instead of hanging over. So now I've got base plates fitted in here, ready to be mills plated. What I had to do was I had to cut down a 48 plate to 32. So it's 32 by 48 here in the center. And that will extend the road plate onto it. And then... Um, I had to cut a little little strip uh, pieces for the sides here. This was like nine studs, and that was like seven studs by, by 48. But I had the leftover from cutting it off to 32, so that worked out 16, cut in nine into seven, and it worked out perfect, so I didn't have any waste. So I'm going to mills plate these, put the road plate on the center one, and then... As far as my retaining wall goes, it's going to be tricky because basically I was debating on whether to put the tunnels facing this direction towards that way or this direction towards the wall. So, but I think it's going to be easier to go towards the wall, like right in this area here, because it's less, it's, 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 it's not as wide as coming this direction based on where the front wall is going to be so yeah there'll be a there'll be a tunnel opening here there'll be a tunnel opening over there and then there'll be about an 18 to 20 stud tunnel opening right here for the road and like i said i'll extend the road plate out here on this on this base plate here once i get it mills plate well that'll be part of mills plate yet putting the road plate on there so yeah uh, that's the plan. <laughs> I know the plan has changed several times now, but uh, that's the latest plan. I've got uh, my materials on order for all of this stuff, and hopefully it comes out good this time. Like, you know, if I build my retaining wall 15 studs high plus uh, put two or three burps on top of that, that's plenty high enough for the train to go under. So there, there won't be any issue with that. I just hope that by the time I get to the top and my when I build my platform up on top of the mountain, that it's still big enough to put the, uh, the Lion Knight's castle on. So, we'll see. I uh, made a discovery on both roller coasters. I realized that they actually have a specific place you're supposed to put the motor, you're supposed to hook the motor up to, as opposed to hooking it up where the crank is. That's what I've been doing, just putting it on the shaft where the crank is. But this one right here... You see that yellow uh, axle sticking up? That's where the motor's supposed to go, as opposed to down here on this shaft. So 
Um, I figured that out by looking at the back of the instruction book. And this one actually does call for the large motor, not the small one. So I'm going to have to order a large motor for this one and for this one. And as a matter of fact, it's got its own special place for the motor too. Like you can see the small motor I have in there right now. It's supposed to go there as opposed to over here on, on the crankshaft where I was putting it at. So I got to order two large motors for these two. And then the Haunted House drop ride actually takes two motors, but it takes the small ones. So I just got to order an additional small motor. So then I'll have two small motors for it and two large motors for, for the roller coasters. <laughs> so a lot of motors to be ordered. I put a mills plate in this section right here. Obviously, I've still got to do some work on it. As a matter of fact, I'm going to pull out this mills plate right here and the two mills plates over there with the road plates on and change the side plate there that's beyond the sidewalk to green plate because that only makes sense to put because the barrier is going to be right here just beyond the sidewalk. And it looks kind of funky to have gray plate and green plate there mixed together. Even if I put vegetation on top of it, it still would, you'd still see the difference and that would look really funky. So yeah, I'm going to take those out and slap in green plate, at least on that side of the mills plate towards the, uh, towards the green area here. So I got to do that. And then I got to figure out exactly what I'm going to put on this mills plate like we discussed before, continuing out the um, the rock path there, dirt path from the treehouse. And then uh, probably other than that, it'll just be greenery, you know, vegetation and whatnot. Also added a mills plate here underneath the Winnie the Pooh tree and house. So it's just going to be sitting on top of there. It's, it's not going to be tacked down in any way because it just wouldn't work out to, to, to do it that way, but that's okay. I mean, it, I'm just using a mills plate just to keep everything consistent so that, uh, you know, it looks filled in and I can add greenery and shrubbery and all that stuff around this, this area as well. Yeah, I think it's going to be a short video today, guys. I think that's about all I've got for you. So we're going to wrap it up right now. Don't forget to smash that like button. If you enjoy the video, Press the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. I know it's cliche, and I know every channel is asking you to do this, but it, it, is, it means a lot because it, it builds the channel, and it's the only way to do it. So please, it means a lot. All right, guys, thank you for taking me along. I do appreciate it. Have a great day, and I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye-bye.